This experiment is about air pressure. Now, as you can see, I've got two identical plastic beakers. And one of them, though, has a very short length of rubber tubing sticking out a bit. And the other one has a long length of rubber tubing that goes right down to the floor over a meter below. The one with the long rubber tubing has actually been filled with water already. But I'm now going to fill the other one so that we've got both of them full of it's coloured water, actually. It looks like red, red wine, but believe me, it isn't. So there we go. Right. We're now going to let the water out of the tube starting now. And I want you to watch the level of the water as it goes down. At the moment, they're pretty much equal, I think. Now, just to remind you, the one on this side, the left-hand side one, has just a very short length of rubber tube. The other one has the long length of rubber tube. And already, you can see what I hope will happen, and it is happening now, the one with the longer rubber tube is emptying quicker than the one with the shorter rubber tube. And I think we're going to get to the point where the long one is emptied to the top of the small tube, which is in the lower part of the glass. The other one still hasn't emptied. Now, I timed it earlier on, and um, I'm not suggesting this one is going to be the same, but I found that the one with the long rubber tube took 43 seconds to empty, whereas the one with the short tube the one which is still empty now, took 76 seconds. Now why? Well, you'd think that the long tube beaker would take longer because of the friction of the water as it flowed out of the tube, but that's not the case. Remember they were both the same depth of water in the two beakers, but actually they weren't, were they? This one had a head of water that was from the top of the beaker to the end of this little bit of rubber tubing. But this one had a head of water that was equal to the distance between the top of the beaker and the lower end of the rubber tubing, which, as I said, was over a metre away, right down towards the floor.